So we are sneaking out to look for calico critters, Sylvanian families on clearance at a store to near me. So anyone who is married and likes to collect anything will understand exactly what I'm going through. So um, I'm gonna sneak out and get a couple uh, that are on clearance. And of course I will tell my husband about it. Um, but uh, for now we are going sneaky. Toy section right over here. All right, let's see what we got here. Not a huge selection here, but they have a few clearance items that look sold out. Pretty much already have all these. Now these are a pretty good price. You get the fridge and both of the, uh, the kitchen cabinets uh, for about $16. We could use an extra one of those because now we have that new uh, brand hotel. Now this I do not have. Every time I've seen it, it's been like $19.99 or more. But this is a really good price on clearance. I might grab that. And it's the last one. And this is a really good price for this car. We don't have this one. We have the other Cherry Red Cruiser. This one is a convertible with a hard top. And it has a stroller and I think it comes with like some coffee cups. So I think I'll grab that. And what was this item? The ropeway park. See, I wasn't I wouldn't have gotten the ropeway park. I really don't care for the way that one looks. We already have this. It comes with all these cute accessories and these two bunnies. That's the uh, Hillcrest home. And there is the gift set, Red Roof Country Home gift set. And that is $100, which is not a good price. You can find that cheaper on Amazon. And they've got this, which uh, is the new starter furniture set. And uh, this is not a good price. Um, they had it for like $12 on Amazon for a long time. Now this is a good price for this fashion set, which I already have and I paid 20 bucks. So I'm kicking myself now. Should I get another one? No, we don't need to. All right. Oh, the Hop and Easter set is on clearance for $7.50, and it's on the it's in the wrong location here. So I'll help them out. We already have the Hop and Easter set. We don't need another one. And then they've got the Chocolate Rabbit, and it looks like they've got some more Sandy Cat back there. I don't have the Sandy Cat twins. Uh, but I don't know if I really need them. Of course I don't need any of this stuff. I do not have the Persian cat family. I have the kangaroos. I do not have the caramel dogs. And if I had to pick between the Persian cat or the caramel dog, I would pick the caramel dog. So I think I will get these three items. All right, well, I think we've made our decision. I'm gonna go check out. All right, so we had some good luck at Meyer, and now we're gonna go check out Walmart. I don't have any high hopes for Walmart. Their uh, calico critter selection is usually pretty sad. All right, here we go. Walmart. Let's go inside and see if they have any critters. Yep, see this is their really abysmal critter section. Look at that. It's like, that's it. That's it. And they have the Cherry Cruiser, which is the one we already have um, for $20. And then this, which is $14.91. I forget. I think it was $14.99. Um, oh, the other one. But this is a different one for $14.91, which we have this one as well, but it's really pretty. And it wouldn't hurt to have another one, but... Here, get, come here to get a duplicate. And then of course this, which everything is just all a mess on the shelf. Like look at that, like nothing's where it belongs. 
Um, but this has the price right on it. This is um, eleven sixteen for this kitchen set. We already have two of them because I got them for eleven eighty eight um, on Amazon or at Walmart.com. So I don't know if we're gonna do that. This bathroom set is also eleven sixteen, so those are some pretty good deals. But we already have them. Now I am tempted on this uh, with this mouse girl, but we really just don't need another one. So I'm gonna skip it and be smart. And then they have these twins. This is where I got our hedgehog twins a while ago because they were kind of hard to find. They have the same ones that the other store had and they're all 516 and they put price tags right on the box to like ruin the box, which is annoying. So looks like we're gonna be leaving Walmart empty handed. Okay, but this is cool. I just found these little LED lights that um, are just really cute. See here they have like what they actually look like. The llama looks a little big. All right, so we got the pineapples and the regulars. All right, well, this will be fun. All right, I am back to a remote undisclosed location. Um, just kidding, <laughs> I'm in my office. I can sneak over here and open up our loot. So here is our clearance critter shopping extravaganza. Now you might notice that what's missing here are the caramel dogs. I ultimately decided that it was off mission to get them. They were not on clearance, they were full price, there was no justification for buying them. So let's take a look at these contraband Calico Critter Sylvanian Family Sets. So this was $14.99 at, at uh, Meyer. normally like $25 on Amazon, so super stoked. This was about $13 at Meyer. Normally about 20 uh, is what I've normally seen it go for. And uh, these were from Walmart. This one was $3.88, just the basic ones. And then these were $5.88 for the pineapples. All right, let's open these up and take a look. Oh my gosh, this is even more beautiful in person. I mean, doesn't it look like a, like a car commercial? It is so shiny, or maybe our existing red car is just so like worn out, but oh my gosh, that looks so shiny. The picture does not do it justice. The picture almost makes it look like matte, you know, like it's not like even a glossy, but this is like gorgeous. How beautiful is that? I love it. I went ahead and stuck the steering wheel in on the left side for our US critters. You can see there's a spot if you want to put it on the right side. Very cool. It's got three seats in the back, two in the front. And here are the little coffee cups. They did come with stickers. Here are the license plate stickers, which I, I may wait to stick those on a little while. These are different than the coffee cups from the pink car set. Zipper on the top, it's just smooth. But it does have the hole uh, to, so the little critters can hold it. Let's stick them in the little cup holders, one for mom and one for dad. Just like in our real family, we'd have two cups of coffee, just like that in our car, pretty much anywhere we go. Except they would probably be iced coffee for me and an iced chai latte for my darling husband. And this set comes with a little storybook called Clever Grace. Of course, I'm not gonna read it. That might be boring for some people but very cute. And then here is the stroller. So 
so you can see it comes apart and then this handle pops right off and there's a little car seat of course the straps cannot be strapped on so it doesn't clip on it just that part just kind of has a nook that it rests in this awning does not move it's all a single piece it doesn't fold the wheels do turn and you can see on the back look at that too bad they don't have a filling station to go to, but I guess you could use like a shoelace and like pretend that's like, um, they're filling it up with gas. It's super cute. And the trunk is so spacious. Look at that. Very big and roomy and you can fit the stroller in there. Put the stroller part right here. And the handle. Close it up, and then this little guy is a little different, and it attaches right here. So that's different, and it's it's suspended off of the seat there. Can you tell? And I think you could put it on the other. Yep, you can put it on any of these seats, and even. Probably, no, doesn't quite fit on the front seats. Nor would that be safe, would it? Of course, these doors do not open. And that's a feature that really disappoints me about most Calico Critter um, Selenia family cars is that uh, the, the doors don't open. But this is still very cool, very beautiful, and I love it so much. Okay, let's take a look at the Hedgehog Hideout. Part of my messy office in the background. There you can see what it comes with. And this box is so pretty. Look at that. They really put a lot of thought and effort into these beautiful boxes sometimes. Very pretty. Oops. Looks like they've got a catalog hiding underneath here. So I do not have my little phone tripod here, so I could not do that one-handed, but I think I got it. Those pieces. And yay, we kept the um, beautiful box intact. How pretty is that? This would be really pretty for like photographs. Look at that, all the depth in that photo. Very pretty. Here is our little hedgehog. He is secured with... Okay, got it. I must think I, I have like superpowers to think that I could like untie a twisty tie left-handed with one hand. Look at that little fella. Oh my gosh. It's very cute. This will go well with that little um, tree-shaped swing set. Did that come out? Don't know if this butter box comes out or not. And here it looks like this is meant to be like a little step. Barely fits through that little slide. And this door opens. It's almost silly to have a door there. They can walk right in here. But it's very cute to have. It looks kind of like it's shaped like a mole or a mouse. Maybe it's meant to look like a hedgehog, but I don't see it. 
Okay, let's take out our little accessories. All right, these were not taped in there. Okay, so we have a little hedgehog table. Oh, that would look cute in a little bedroom, like a child's bedroom, Critterland. And this sleeping bag, I, I like the concept. I think it's a cute idea, but I don't know how I really, it kind of like to me, it reminds me of like an Easter egg. It doesn't, it's just obviously plastic and it just doesn't really look realistic or comfy to me, but it's a cute idea. Let's take a look. Oh, that is cute. That is super cute. And then we have this oven. Now, I don't know how, okay, so it detaches. I suppose this would be challenging for a child. Maybe it would be good for them. A little bit of a challenge is good. Then you would stick this here and align it to the oven. Very nice. All right, let's check out these LED lights. All right, so of course I want to try out the pineapple ones first. These were, probably already mentioned it, these were like about $6 at Walmart. They require three AAA batteries. Let's see if we have any in the trusty old file cabinet. Oh, we've got these ones. I need one of these for my that chandelier. What are these? Are these the right kind? Double A, double A. Okay. So we're going to get a total of six double. That's a lot of batteries. Yikes. Batteries aren't cheap either. I'm not sure when we got these, but I'll have to order some more. Um, and I might bring this home, or at least bring one of them home. I think these can be cut. And uh, this is my company, so don't worry. I'm not stealing office supplies. <laughs> I'm paying for it. Okay, let me see where this... Does this require a screwdriver? Okay, so I literally had to bust out the instructions. Um, it's actually really easy. Ta -da! You just slide it. What a beautiful design. No screws or complicated mechanisms. All right. See what we're working with. These awesome looking. Ah, it already lit up and I didn't even untie it. Okay, let me slide this cover back on. And I'm going to switch it to the off position. Oh, it's on timer. So it has a little timer. Or you can leave it on. Turn it off. Let me untangle these. All right, I got them all spread out. That was not easy, actually. Here we go. Those super cute pineapple lights. I'll have to decide where we're going to put them. Put them on one of the decks or one of the kids' rooms, like a bedroom. And then these ones could pretty much go anywhere. Well, thanks for taking a look. It was fun doing this clearance critter uh, mission trip, and I'm glad we got a couple items, and I'm excited to go put them in Critterland. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.